Hello, my name is Laura Jimenez. I'm a technical support engineer for ComAP and today we will talk about the differences between the IntelliJ NTC base box and the IntelliJ 1000 controllers. There are two different controllers as you can see on the screen and the main four differences are the input dedicated to the emergency stop, the logic of the MCB breaker, the lack of VPIO models in the IntelliJ 1000 and the Modbus Master functionality. In the IntelliJ 1000 controller, the emergency stop must be wired to a specific terminal, that is the terminal T04, which is internally connected with two specific outputs, binary output 1 at terminal 5 and binary output 2 at terminal 6. These outputs can be freely assigned, but they are mainly used for the signal that controls the starter and for the signal that controls the fuel solenoid. So, if for some reason there is an absence of voltage in the TO4 terminal assigned to the emergency stop, then the e-stop alarm will be activated in the controller and at the same time we will be internally opening the power supply to outputs 1 and 2, starter and fuel solenoid, which will deactivate them. Let's go to IntelliConfig. Here we are connected with the IntelliJ 1000 controller and you can see the stop alarm activated. You can also see it in values window, group of inputs and outputs, the emergency stop. Now let's place a bridge between the positive of the power supply and the terminal T04. And we see how the alarm is deactivated. We only need to recognize this alarm pressing the full reset button so it disappears from the alarm list. So in the configuration we don't need to make any adjustments and we simply have to warranty the connection of the power supply in terminal 4 so the alarm doesn't remain active. And if you want to wire the signal in the traditional way that is done in the IntelliJ NT controllers, you only need to configure one of the binary inputs with the emergency stop function. In IntelliConfig, we go to controller configuration. Then we select the binary input we will configure and assign the function that will be emergency stop. Then we press OK and then we can give the name we want. Finally, we press OK and restart. Once the configuration is loaded in the controller, we will see the inputs configured in the binary input window. See the binary input number 3? That is the emergency stop function configured now. Now let's talk about the difference in the MCB logic. In the IntelliJ 1000, in SPTM application, we have the parameter MCB logic, and this doesn't exist in our IGS NT controllers. It is used to configure the opening and closing control logic of the MCB breaker, which is associated with the mains. And it has its main function when this device is a contactor since we can choose between the control with direct or reverse logic to avoid the unexpected opening of the MCB breaker in case of an unwanted opening of the controller output. We go to set points button, then set point group main settings, then AMF settings, and there we're looking for the MCB logic parameter. The configuration of this parameter can be closed on to configure the direct logic where to close the MCB we will be activating the output and to open the MCB breaker we will be deactivating it. Or we can choose close off where the reverse logic will be active, which means to close the MCB we will be deactivating the output and to open the MCB the output will be active as seen on the screen. In IntelliJ NT controller, we must go to GenConfig software and reverse the function by checking the inverted checkbox. 
This has to be reversing the operation logic directly in the output and not as a parameter. And then write the settings to the controller to load the change that we have done. Let's go with the following difference with intelligent NT controllers, which has to do with the VPIO models, which means virtual peripheral input output. The VPIO and the intelligent NT controllers are virtual extension models and are used to connect LBOs or logic binary output functions to activate logic, binar logic binary input or functions LBIs. If we try to assign the value to an LBI, we only have available the binary inputs and outputs, logic binary outputs, info, VPIO, and PLC group, but we don't have an important group that is the program states. While the VPIO outputs can be assigned variables of these groups, plus the program states, to then be used as binary inputs in the controller. Now, in the Intelligent 1000 controller, when we want to make the assignment to an LBI, we have available the group's binary inputs, fixed protection states, info, logic be out, or power management, remote control, or user button. So it wouldn't make much sense to have VPIO models, as in the practice, all the binary functions of the controller are already available to be assigned to an LBI function. Another important difference has to do with the possibility of the Intelligent 1000 to operate as a Modbus master without having the need to connect an external model which is necessary for an IGS NT controller that needs an ICB Modbus model or an Intelligent gateway to get data from other devices that support Modbus communication. This is a premium function that requires a special activation kit that will be entered by connecting with IntelliConfig. Go to Set Points, Basic Settings Group, Controller Settings, and then Software Keys Parameter. To confirm if it is activated, we look for it in the Values window. Then we go to Info Group, then Software Key Feature List and there we can deploy all the activated premium functions. Once the function is activated, the corresponding menus will be activated and the details of how to configure this function will be found in an upcoming video. Thank you for your attention and please contact our support channel if you have any questions. See you in the next tutorials.